Hey everyone, this is a quick video on how to install the Canakit heat sinks on the Raspberry Pi 4. Canakit's Raspberry Pi 4 kits are a good value and have everything you need to get started, but they don't provide any information on how to install the heat sinks. Since it isn't immediately obvious where to place them, I made this quick guide showing where the heat sinks go. Let's get to it. The large square heat sink goes on the main processor. The medium rectangular heat sink goes on the DDR4 memory. The small heat sink goes on the USB controller chip. To install the heat sink, first peel off the blue tape. Then firmly press the heat sink to the chip. Repeat the same process for each heat sink. When all the heat sinks have been installed, here's what your Raspberry Pi should look like. I did a brief comparison of thermal performance before and after installing the heat sink. I allowed the Pi to boot up and sit in idle mode for 10 minutes and then pulled the CPU temperature. Without the heat sink, the CPU reached 52 to 54 degrees Celsius. I also ran my computationally intensive TensorFlow object detection script for 10 minutes and pulled the temperature again. The CPU reached 78 to 80 degrees while running TensorFlow. With the heatsink, the CPU reached 51 to 52 degrees while idling and reached 78 to 79 degrees while running TensorFlow. There's not a significant thermal improvement with the heatsinks, but I still recommend using them. They slightly enhance performance by making it so your CPU can run at high speeds for slightly longer before thermal throttling needs to kick in. If you plan to frequently use your Pi for computationally intense activities like playing games or streaming 4K video, you may want to look into using a fan to keep it cool. I linked a blog post from TomsHardware.com in the video description below that has some good information on cooling methods and how effective they are. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it was helpful. See you next time!